I'm destined to win it. They playing games. I ain't Guys, the time is over, so we finally have our official teaser trailer of Godzilla vs. Kong. And boy, man, that was very epic. So it wasn't much, it was just a few seconds, but we see Godzilla swimming, we see Kong roaring and all of that, so that is pretty epic. And rumor right now is that we are getting the trailer on the 25th, which kind of makes sense. So supposedly, we're not getting a trailer today. But either way, we know once a teaser trailer happens, the trailer has to drop either way. Like, there's no outrunning it. Like, it's going to happen sooner or later. So don't worry about that, guys. I mean, the cat is out of the back already. The trailer has to come either this month or early next month. It just has to happen. So right here, we have enhanced images. So my thoughts right away is seeing Godzilla, he looks a little bit different. I noticed that throughout his body, he seems to be more sharper with spikes or dorsal plates. They just seem a little bit bigger. Uh, he seems a little bit more bulkier. So I don't know if that's just my imagination, but let me know. Are Godzilla spikes a lot bigger? Just something about his design really does change. He looks more like a rock, more like a scale type of crocodile thing going around, but he still remains with that. 2019 2014 phase design that we all remember and that's a good thing right so for this scene and the upcoming scenes they don't necessarily have to match up with each other we know that trailers and teaser trailers always change up things so in my video i said this was a city that was my mistake it's actually you can see aircrafts in the background so this seems to be the infamous leak spoiler alert scene where you see Godzilla facing off against Kong for the first time where they seem to be standing on this massive special type of aircraft designed for both of them or to combat Godzilla and Kong and you see Kong roaring and if you look very closely Kong seems to have some type of device either this device controls Kong or he simply got captured by humans or Mechagodzilla, something is going on. We know that Kong is either captured, he's being controlled, and what's funny is everybody thought it was going to be Godzilla, right? Godzilla is the evil one who is going to be getting controlled, but the tables have changed. It appears like this is Kong that is actually being controlled. Now, nothing is confirmed, but if we're taking everything from the leaks, remember, leaks can always change. This is the infamous scene where it both of them square up against each other. You know, they see each other, they roar at each other. Kong dashes over to Godzilla with a ferocious punch with no effect to Godzilla. He just smirks and then you see Kong rushing over to Godzilla, delivering that final blow or just things go down, right? So I don't want to give too much, but yeah, this is going to be a very interesting scene. I know a lot of people were actually debating this back in the day, like how is that possible for two giant monsters, alphas, to be standing on a big aircraft? Well, this is something like the Oracle Jet. This is going to specialize for both creatures, but just like the water version, where the Oracle Jet is more like a um, air to air combat for Ghidorah and other monsters out there to travel around. There's another scene of the hive, I believe that's the name, but it's not much. You only see like what appears multiple going to the hollow earth. You see some type of water with lava, but it's not much, right? So, am I impressed? I mean, the CGI looks good. We finally have a daytime battles what appears to be the first battle or even the second battle and that's good because a lot of people were complaining that 2014 and godzilla king of the monsters really didn't have any battles during the daytime and that's something that only skull island did which was beautiful and if something like that could happen i obviously don't mind nighttime or any type of scene as long as it's done correctly and clear enough but then again remember there has to be a realism right to the scene where sometimes you're not going to be able to see the monsters because of fire smoke effect or even wind or water you know it's nature it's supposed to be like that but i'm very happy you know now for me personally i thought kong had the least changes or he just reminds me of the skull island version 
I know there's changes to him, but they're not really drastic enough for me. Like, I know people are saying, well, Kong now has a beard and he's grown up and all that. Yes, I understand. But I'm talking about visually, right? There's not enough difference for me to tell which is which. And I was expecting the face and the beard to look a little bit different. But in this shot, it really doesn't. Now, if you notice the promotional images that we have gotten like a few months ago and this shot, they look drastically different. Kong looks way different. We didn't see the chain or the uh, control device on him on that image. On this image and the teaser trailer, it shows completely different things. So yeah, I'm expecting things to be different from the leaks, images, and storyline that we got. Also, from what I know, this movie has been ready to go. They were just waiting for Legendary or Warner Brothers to give the green light because as you know, COVID has affected so many things and that led to plans change. So they were waiting for them to finally decide on a final plan. And now that the final plan is to stream on HBO Max and to release it on theaters, all of the directors or producers for each movie can now finally start to roll things with trailers, teaser trailers, and that's good, right? For a very long time, Kong vs. or Godzilla vs. Kong should have been shown. The movie has already been ready. It's, you know, they fixed a few things here and there, but they were just waiting for that green light, and it finally happened. And once the teaser trailer is out, guys, regardless, don't worry, the trailer, trailer one has to come either way. So that is it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like the video. Share it around. This is Ruby Gaming X. I'm out. Stay red.